Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how we can make a simple money system in Unreal Engine 4. So in order to visualize what we're seeing, I'm going to start off by making a widget. So let's call this money, open it up, double click, and then let's put some text over here. And let's call this money. Uh, let's make it a little bigger so we could see better. All right, money. Sure, here we go, money. So this is where we are going to see that our money system is working. So let's add two buttons here. Uh, let's call one. So let's add two buttons. And let's put some text on these buttons so that we know which is which. Let's call this one sell. And let's call this one buy. All right. Now that we got the widget set up, let's set up uh, some variables. So head over to, all right. So head over to your character blueprint. And then what you're going to want to do is create a variable, we call this money. Then we change the variable type to a float. So now we have a float of money. And we could use that um, to store how much money our character has. So let's say our character starts off with 100, 100 money, whatever currency you use. And what we're going to want to do is change, is link this text to whatever is inside this money variable so that we can see how much money the character has. So the way we do that is you click on the text and then you hit this bind over here, create binding, it brings you to this page, which is basically just here. It's a function. Uh, and what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to Cast to first person character, and then we can make this a pure cast, and then we're gonna get player character, and then from here, this is what will allow us to get the variable money from the character, and then whatever the variable money is, we're gonna want to display that as text. So we link it over here to the return node and hit OK. It should be good. Now we want to be able to call the widget. So let's do e key. Um, all right, here, e. So let's do when we press e, let's create a widget and then let's get our widget underscore money. Don't forget to add to viewport. So now every time we press E, this, sh this widget should show up. And then when we, um, oh, actually, let's do a flip flop so that we can close it actually. Flip flop. And then when we click it again, we want to remove, uh, hold on. Let's make this into a variable. Uh, let's name it just to be clear. So let's call this widget money. And then when we click E again, what we want to do is we want to remove this from parent so that we can close it. Compile, hit save, and then let's go and play. When I hit E, you get this uh, 100 buy and sell. All right. So here, take a look. So you see that uh, number in the middle? It says 100. So that's basically linked to our money variable that the player character has. So let's try changing that in real time. Um, so when this opens, we want to when this opens, we want to be able to move our mouse around. So let's set gameplay set input mode to UI only. 
Yep. Here we go. And then we want to show our mouse cursor. Hit the check and then let's see if this works. When I hit E, my mouse shows up and I'm able to select buttons now. Buy, sell, buy, sell. So let's put some functionality into these buttons. So let's go back to our widget over here. And let's make this uh, buy button green. Oh, let's make this buy button green and the sell button red. Hit compile, hit save. Now let's put some functionality into these. So let's do every time we click this sell button on clicked. Let's let's label them so we're clear. Sell button buy button. All right. So every time we on clicked off the sell button, we want to hmm, we want to we can actually make a custom event for this. Yeah, let's make a custom event for this. So head over to your character blueprint and right click and type in custom event. Let's do hmm change money there we go no no let's do let's do buy let's call it buy and let's make one more Oops. let's make one more custom event called sell all right so whenever we buy what we're doing is we are getting our money and then we want to mine us from our money and then we want to set our money into whatever our money minus whatever we're buying is. So in, or, in order to get what, how much whatever we're buying is, we want to click on this custom event and hit this plus new parameter in input. We're going to put cost and change it to a float, hit compile, save. We're going to plug the cost in to this minus uh, input. So this is basically saying whenever we call this custom event called buy, we are expecting a float when we call it, which is basically how much the item is. And it's going to automatically reduce the cost from our money and set our money to whatever money we have left. So for a sell event, we're going to do the opposite, right? We're going to put an input and then we're going to do cost and we're basically doing the same thing here except now we're going to add to our money because we're selling something we're gaining money so set our money variable and plug in whatever our money plus whatever we sold is so all right so we go back into our widget buy and sell go to the graph editor from here, we're going to want to cast to first person character again. And then we can make this a pure cast. Get player character. And what we're going to want to do now is call the custom event. So this is the on, this is the sell button. So we're going to call the sell custom event. So do you see this uh, input called cost? This is basically what we added when we clicked on this and put this input called cost. So now when we call this custom event from here, we're able to put any cost we want. So let's say, let's say whatever we're selling is worth 50. So we put 50 in there. Um, and then let's go back in here and do the same thing for the buy button. So we go to the buy button on clicked and we can basically copy paste this but this time we call the buy custom event right so we get that same cost input here because we've done the same thing for the buy custom event right we have this cost input here um, so when we buy something let's say it costs 25 all right let's make it 10 it costs 10 to buy whatever we're buying and to sell whatever we're selling would give us 50. So let's see if this functionality is working. Head over here, click play, hit E. So you see this 100 in the middle? This 100 is 
our current money. We have $100 right now. So if I hit sell, we gained $50. Hit sell again, goes to 200, hit sell, hit sell, hit sell. It goes to, keeps going up by 50 because that's what we set it as. Now let's see if we buy, if it reduces our money. We hit buy, goes down by 10, goes down by 10, goes down by 10, and keeps going down by 10. So this is a really basic um, buy and sell system that you could set up in pretty much five minutes if you follow this. Um, yeah, if you like this video, if, if it uh, helped you out, please uh, check out our Google Play page. We would appreciate it greatly. Uh, play some of our games, leave some reviews. Uh, thanks so much. Peace out.